few days back, I unboxed the Surface Laptop Studio. Today, I have some final thoughts. For specs, I opted to go for the third tier in terms of spec upgrades that Microsoft offers, which is the tier that includes the 11th gen i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of storage, and also the first upgrade option that includes the NVIDIA 3050 graphics in this tier. Price-wise, of course, this is not an inexpensive option, and it's actually pretty expensive for these specs, but I was optimistic Microsoft optimized the experience with these specs in mind. The build is where you experience the sheer price paid, starting with the 120Hz display. This is a rather thick piece of machinery and a bit awkward in the hand. I wouldn't recommend using this if you're not working on a solid surface. It's just not a kickback and relax type of tablet. As for the hinge wizardry that Microsoft has brought not only to their Surface Duo phones, but now to the Surface Laptop Studio, the hinge is well built, but I do have some concerns for long-term durability, and I do get the occasional creak noises that have me sweating bullets each time it's heard. Keep in mind, Microsoft isn't the first to offer a form factor like this. Hats off to Ace and HP who came before them, but I do like Microsoft's take on the niche design language that I think creators alike can appreciate. I am curious what Microsoft does next with this lineup as it matures, and where they implement additional hinge designs. I'm pretty limited with the two USB Type-C ports, and then we have the fan there at the bottom, which I will note is a little bit weird with the surface when you pair it with a mouse and the air from those fans are blowing right over your hands. Nonetheless, the fans do keep it running consistently cool. You can charge the Surface using USB Type-C ports, multiple monitors are supported, and file transfer is pretty smooth. You also get a headphone jack on the opposite side, as well as Microsoft's unique charging port, which in many photos may be misleading to anyone not familiar with Surface docks or chargers, leading most to believe this is a SD card slot, which, as a device for creators, would have been really nice and much appreciated over the latter in my opinion. Battery over the last few days has been decent, not as great as Microsoft boasted in advertising of course, but an average of 3-4 to four hours on screen time with heavy usage in my experience thus far. I have found myself working away and it powers down, but thankfully once connected it charges pretty quickly and I'm back up and productive. The keyboard on this Surface is the best keyboard I've used to date on any laptop hands down and provides the best typing experience superior to even the MacBook lineup in my usage. Kudos again to Microsoft's engineering team here. I can't stress enough how impressed I am with the hardware here on the Surface Laptop Studio. It's a sturdy, versatile device, and it's really impressive overall. Now, it's very unfortunate Microsoft does not include the Surface Slim Pen 2 in the box, charging customers an additional $130 US dollars to acquire this pen. The pen does add to the experience. I do like the design of the Slim Pen 2 and can appreciate the built-in haptics, but quite honestly, I personally have very little use for the pen, and while it's cool to play with the magnets tucking it way under the laptop, I personally have very little use for it here, and I look forward to how other creative artists possibly utilize the Slim Pen 2 with the Surface Laptop Studio. For the very short time that I actually use the pen, I do have to say it is a pretty smooth experience when writing on the tablet with very little lag, so it's a smooth experience at least. The camera setup works well, video conferencing is clear and looks pretty good. Features like Windows Hello for facial recognition work very smoothly, and even when it doesn't recognize your face, you're swiftly prompted with your login pin, which makes the experience for unlocking the Surface a breeze. One use I found for the versatile orientations, if not used for a secondary monitor, is using the display for multitasking and gaming. Pairing the Xbox wireless controller and diving into the Xbox app is pretty cool on the Surface Laptop Studio. I spent the last few days immersed in multiple games, whether it's Avengers, Call of Duty, Halo, etc. All of the games not only look incredible, but they sound incredible with the improved studio quality speakers built in. The games I played, all via the Xbox Cloud Gaming, all of which played incredibly smooth without stutter or lag. I quite enjoyed kicking back and being able to quickly jump in and out of multiple games on the Surface Laptop Studio. Games that allow you to use your mic, like Rainbow Six for example, I was told I sound very clear and even was prompted a few times as to which headset I was using even though I was using the built-in studio quality microphones Microsoft thankfully added to this build as well. If you're a hardcore gamer, of course this laptop might not be for you, the specs are kind of meh considering the price and the 3050 can only go so far, but for the casual gamer like myself, I much appreciated the gaming experience this delivers. I think many looking to buy this potentially will also enjoy the added benefit of this well-integrated Xbox experience. The speed and performance from gaming, if you are not looking to game at all of course, can probably be augmented or felt in other graphic intensive tasks, but just note that the fans mentioned to keep this Surface running cool certainly do their jobs and it certainly runs very cool. I've had zero concerns with overheating and at no point has the Surface got hot during gameplay or heavy multitasking. 
The Surface Laptop Studio handles all of the above like a champ. And going back yet again to Microsoft's engineering here, they nailed yet another area when delivering this product. It's certainly not a half-baked design and the internals are pretty solid for most. Though that price tag still has me scratching my head a bit, even with all of the above being said, hopefully as this matures, the price points will drop a bit for a better balance. As always, feel free to leave a comment down below on which titles you like to play the most on Xbox or PlayStation or whatever system you use at home. Definitely curious to know what games you like, and maybe I can incorporate some of those into my videos later on. Editing video using Adobe Premiere Pro has been a bit of a mixed bag, honestly. I'm not sure if it's just Adobe or Windows 11 or the Surface Laptop Studio at fault, but while well, in most editing task it's a breeze and it runs super smooth when i get to recording voiceover and finalizing my edits before exporting adobe crashes several times throughout that process with little to no warning and no feedback as to what caused the crashing i have not attempted any other editing software though as adobe premiere final cut or LumaFusion are all apps i just prefer overall though it does get the job done i just wish the experience was a bit better considering this device is aimed at creators after all and with all that being said, sorry, a bit of a long-winded one here, but plenty to cover with this Surface. Overall, I'm kind of left unsure about who this is for exactly. Going back to the pricing and the specs, I feel like there's a lot of overhead baked into the price for Microsoft to achieve some of the incredible engineering they pulled off with the hinge design, etc. But for a device well over $2,000, the specs don't feel all that impressive packed into what is seemingly some of the best hardware I've seen on any laptop to date. Windows 11 also feels a little bit lackluster coming from Windows 10 so far, and maybe as more updates pour in, the greater the experience will be. But for now, I can't really recommend this for most. Let me know your thoughts on Microsoft's new Surface lineup down below. Hit that like button and subscribe for more content coming soon as we're on the road to 1,000 subs. Stay tuned next week as well for my Surface Duo 2 content Thank you for watching. Take care and stay safe.